welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen we are playing uh some horror games. It's October. Throughout this month, we're going to play maybe one or two horror games, uh, see what happens. This is not my genre. I don't generally do horror or scary, but um, yeah, we're, we're going to give this a try. So this game is called The Death. It is a Vietnamese game. I think it's pronounced Tan Trong, made by a team of three devs. And uh, so far from what I've played, it is pretty good. I got a couple chapters in, but I end up losing the footage, which seems to be a running theme with my channel so far. Off to a great start. But we're going to replay through it and uh, keep going until we finish the game. So this is the prologue, and honestly, this game does not really good at just making an extremely eerie atmosphere. Um, part of the reason I never play these games, I, I'm not much of a screamer, but I, I squeal sometimes, and uh, this one will definitely make you scream or squeal. Lights start flickering, door, ooh, doors opening, and the sound design just really does not help this game at all Ooh. see I knew that was gonna happen but I still jumped every time <laughs> so we're gonna go into the bathroom uh, hello anybody home here okay it's cool um, we're just gonna go around here. Right, but yeah, it's a it's a nice five dollar game on Steam, so I figured you know I'd give it a try. I honestly forgot that lightning was gonna happen. Oh. It really doesn't help that I've already seen everything. We're gonna keep going though. And the door's opening. Ah, that's what triggers that I have to walk back this way. I forgot. Ooh, that's gonna be fun to deal with later. Good. Okay. It's uh, it was just a dream. Yeah, I'm I'm good now. I'm awake. We in here. We good. You know it's a good horror game when you can play through it once and go back and it still scares you all the same. I know nothing's going to happen from walking backwards, but that terrifies me. And I don't know why I'm doing it. I need my mouse sensitivity to be a little bit higher for this. Um, where? I guess I gotta bang on the door again? Oh! There it goes. Hello, bird. Fancy seeing you here. Can I have that? I need to, to get into my room. So I can go to sleep and not be tormented out in this hallway. Every time. <laughs> so that was the prologue. Now we're getting into the actual game, which is even more terrifying. Uh, this is the right lane? Thought I couldn't find it. Hmm. So, I 
forgot that was going to happen. Just give me... All right, I'm good. And there's going to be a dog over here. <laughs> And then I remember the soccer ball. Because it made me jump the hardest. I'm never going to forget that soccer ball. That's all it is, it's just a soccer ball. Nothing more. Um. You rotten kids. Little lady. Please help me pick up some items. Uh, sure, just as long as you stay right there. I don't, I don't trust you. What are you? Mm, you like to stay in the dark, I see. Alright, I'll pick some item up. And off all the items. That's it. Alright, yeah. I'll put these back for you. This part is just kind of like a tutorial. It, it just shows you what to do and how to interact. But, you know, when I get scared, all logic and planning go out the window. So uh, so we're going to put the bucket down, right? Yeah. Drop the bucket, the towel. Yeah. Then there's the soap. Soap. Wrong button again. Okay. Cool. There you go, lady. Where are you going? Um, I'm looking for an inn. So what house are you looking for? House number four. But I can't seem to find it. Are you sure? No, I'm not. The house is haunted. You have to be careful. I heard that house back in the day. There are a lot of dead people. Remember, be careful. House number four is where the iron door is, right behind you. Can I... Hey, can I stay with you instead, please? I'd really rather not go in a... House number four. Alright. Oh. Did you just call me? What's the matter? Are you looking for house number four? Do you want to rent that house? But what's the matter? My sister rented that house last month before she had to go to the hospital. God, why? I heard that she was shocked by something so severe that she lost her mind and had to be hospitalized for a long time. Be careful. Yes, thank you. I'll remember it. <sighs> Y'all be patient with me because I'm, you know, I've, I've been through this part already and uh, I just. <laughs> I don't do well with horror games. <laughs> what are you drawing? It's not important. It's never important when I come over to ask you what you're drawing. Just ignore me. Yeah, let's go back to it. It's fine. My heart. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Ooh. Okay. Alright, so I already know what to do here, so I'm, I'm a bit of a cheater, and by cheater I mean my computer hates me, and basically, I'm gonna go over here, see this box, and pick up this box. This box has a code on it. And we gotta check these tags for the codes before that liquid gets us. As we can see on the tags, it is 3724. But not 3724, it is 2437. So we're gonna go ahead and do that to get out of this situation as soon as we possibly can. Three. You know, it may be quicker to go up than down on that, but I'm, like I said, logic and thinking all out the window. Pick it up. Set it on fire. Please. So that's chapter one. Uh, 
Is that chapter? That's not even chapter one yet. This is still chapter one. We still got a ways to go. So, I'm in the house. Ooh, hello. A lot of creepy sounds. What I was talking about with setting the atmosphere. Hello. Is anyone home? I'm looking to rent a room. The room with the fewest ghosts would be nice. None ideally. But I think I've heard some thi- There's a doll. Hmm. I'm sure that doesn't mean anything. Oh, there's a... I gotta... I know what's coming and I'm still gonna jump. Hey man, can you help me out? I just don't remember exactly what point it comes at. I, uh, I'm looking to rent. You don't, you, you know who I need to talk to? Is it you? Yep. Yep. Mm hmm Ha. <sighs> so, uh, you, you good? Yeah. You look a little stressed. Um, you... He was having a rough night. He was, uh... Yeah, he's not... F feeling the greatest. We're just gonna go ahead and, uh, Go up to the room. Oh, this door still isn't open. We, uh... I gotta... Gotta get a... Get a key. I don't know if... Why do I... I don't know why, I, you know, I gotta bang so loud. I'm gonna wake someone up. Do I have a... Do I have a key? Nope. I've, uh... Got a... Doll. A cute little... Doll. And that's, um... That's all I've got. All right. You gotta bang so loud. Okay. Um. I've forgotten where to go. All right, gotta look high and low, up and down, hither and thither, through the window, and back to the door. I really wish I could run. I also don't want to run. The longer that you exist in a space, the more it plays on your head. Oh, okay, there was nothing over there at first. Are you the neighbor? It's nice to meet you, ma'am. She seems nice. <laughs> All right. It's that dream again. Yep, it was all just a dream. We're fine. Just dreaming. All right. So, having made it to, to chapter two, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna stop here. The imagery for this game is terrifying. It got a lot of really good reviews on Steam. It's only like a five or six dollar game made by a team of three devs. I mean, I'm not Vietnamese and I've never lived in Vietnam, but it's supposed to be very realistic to the culture and society of Vietnam. It's a very well put together horror game for just five bucks. The atmosphere is just it engulfs you the more you walk around because you don't know where you're supposed to go or what you're supposed to do. But I'm gonna end this right here for now. This video made you smile, laugh, or chortle, or chortle at the word chortle, then uh, please leave a like and subscribe because there's a lot more where that came from. Thanks and uh, goodbye. Uh -huh.